Hello everyone. Today is February 23rd, 2020. We're taking a look at the 1977 Rolex Double Red Sea Dweller, reference number 1665. So the Double Red Sea Dweller uh, diving watch by Rolex was made from 1967 to 1977, a 10-year run. So it's called a Double Red. As you can see, there are two lines of red fonts on the dial. Um, Hence the nickname Double Red uh, Sea Dweller or DRSD for short. Now the main difference obviously between the Sea Dweller and the Submariner is the depth of the watch is able to handle um, during diving. Uh, the Submariner was rated at 660 feet or 200 meters uh, back, back then in the 70s. And uh, this DRSD was actually rated at 2,000 feet or 610 meters, three times as deep. Um, as a comparison, today's Submariner um, is good for 1,000 feet or 300 meters. The Sea Dweller is good for 4,000 feet or 1,200 meters. And the Deep Sea Sea Dweller is good for 12,800 feet or 3,900 meters today. Uh, but back in the late 60s and the 70s, um, I would say a 2,000 feet, you know, diving watch is really a te technical uh, achievement. And it was designed really for professionals and uh, commercial use, where the Submariner is more for, you know, recreational use. And the key difference in design is that uh, Sea Dweller since 1967 has a helium escape valve on the left side of the case. Um, that's designed basically to release the helium uh, safely for decompression. Now from 1967 to 1977, there were four different dials for the double uh, red. Um, the original one, the Mark I, had a more of a pinkish red font or light red, but all four iterations are just small changes in design. I mean, if you look at this dial compared to today's uh, Submariner or Sea Dweller, it's really similar. Um, obviously, there are small differences here and there. Um, one of the key things, uh, let me just show a few differences. One is the 12 o'clock. Uh, index is really a little bit more narrow and long. And uh, if you look at the dial, you got the Rolex crown, which is the same, the Rolex word, a little bit more short font, oyster perpetual date. Then the two red lines with Sea Dweller first, and then Submariner 2000. Uh, then in white font, 2000 feet, 6, 610M, superlative uh, chronometer and officially certified. And at the bottom of the um, the dial, it's a little hard to see in small font, Swiss dash T less than 25. And that means it's obviously Swiss made. And the T less than 25 was because uh, it has the um, tritium uh, loom. So it re emits a little bit of a radiation. T less than 25 means it emits less than 25 MCI low energy uh, radiation. Now, but back to the basics, the watch is a 40 millimeter case, uh, stainless steel case, 17, about 17 millimeters thick. The case and also the glass is definitely thicker than the Submariner, so you can handle more pressure um, in deeper dives. You can see the bottom of the case closure is a little bit thicker, you know, tucks down a little bit more. And also the top, you can see the glass it definitely sits a little bit taller above the, the bezel. Um, this is called a super dome, super dome, um, uh, plexiglass crystal. And you can see on the side, it, on the side alone is about at least two millimeters in the center, probably three and a half to four millimeters, uh, millimeters thick. So the watch is a little bit thicker, uh, 17 millimeters top to bottom. I think compared to a Submariner, usually it's around 12 and a half to 13 uh, in, uh, millimeters thick. The bracelet, it's the standard stainless steel oyster bracelet. Hasn't really changed uh, back then to today. 
you got the standard um, single clasp secure closure with a Rolex crown on the bottom. And then at the bottom case, you have the Rolex logo and name. On the left side, it says Oyster. Then Gas Escape Valve. And on the right side, it says Rolex uh, Patent. And this particular one from late 1977 is the last one had the double red uh, design. So in late 1977, uh, Rolex uh, replaced the two red lines of font with just one sea dweller um, line in white and they removed the Submariner 2000. So it will be only be one line of re uh, white font of sea dweller. And that was known as the Great White, um, no longer the Double Red. So how does it wear on the wrist? Let me give it a try here. Um, 40 millimeter case, um, it's... You know, even a smaller wrist like mine, six and a half inches or 16.5 centimeters, uh, it works pretty well. It's not very large or overpowering. And this particular one, I believe uh, two to three links were taken off. So... It weights about 4.34 ounces or 123 gram, grams. So it's really not that heavy. In fact, um, I feel pretty light. You know, initially when I thought it was a 17 millimeter thickness, um, you know, I thought it might be a little bit more heavier on the wrist, but it's really quite light at uh, 123 grams. It can fit under a dress shirt cuff pretty easily. I have a casual shirt, but... So the cuff is slightly bigger, but it can easily fit with no problem. So this piece again, the dials, um, you know, the markers are, you know, aged to a little bit more of a cream color. You know, under this lighting, it's a little bit harder to see. But under a natural white light, it's a little bit more cream. I think auto watches from back then to today pretty much look um, quite similar. Again, it's uh, one of the more legendary, rare history in the Rolex diving uh, watch history. And uh, once again, this is the 1977 Rolex Double Red Sea Dweller, also known as DRSD, reference number 1665. Thank you.